from Zero State Reflex Design, and today we are going to convert CMYK colors to PMS colors, that would be Pantone, in Illustrator. I am currently using the version Adobe Illustrator CC 2017, although this should work for any previous versions. All right, let's get to it. So you'll see these beautiful colors laid out before you. I'm working on a logo. And I have started with two Pantone colors. You'll see at the very ends here. And what I've done is I've blended those two colors together to form these five intermediary colors. Now, according to our color palette, these colors are not Pantone colors, and so what I want to do is convert those to Pantone colors. And so what we'll do is we'll copy these just so you can see what happens when we convert these. Okay, so all you have to do is have the ones that you want converted selected, and you'll go to Edit, Edit Colors, Recolor Artwork. Once you open that dialog box, you'll see that the five colors I have selected are here. And you go down to this little magic box. I'm not sure what the technical name is, so we call it magic box. We want to click that. And of course, we want to go to color books, which is where you'll find your Pantone conversion. So we go to color books, down to Pantone solid coded, which is what I would like to use. Of course, you can pick any of the other ones, they have solid, uncoded, numerous other versions. Uh, we're going to do solid coded for this tutorial. So once we have that selected, we go ahead and hit OK. And bam! Now, as you can see by the color palette, each color has been converted into its approximate Pantone, according to Illustrator. Now, if you just wanted to know that, um, you can stop here. There is a second phase to this where if you want more accurate colors, you'll have to tell Illustrator to update its library of Pantone colors. Now what we'll do, we're just going to call this version 1. Okay, so as you can see, the color matches aren't really that good. They're pretty far off. Um, it's pretty bad, actually. And when I initially did, did this, uh, I looked into, well, I found a color that I actually couldn't find in my swatch library um, in Illustrator. So what I learned is you can update your Pantone library uh, by using the Adobe, or rather the, uh, the Pantone Color Manager. And this is a separate application uh, that you can download from Pantone's website. And I'll show you how to do that. Um, First thing to do, and I'll put this in the notes, you go to Pantone's website. And you'll find it has Windows and Mac software. Go ahead and download, install it. And let's go ahead and launch that. OK, once you've installed it, you've got it up. It's going to ask you to activate. I'm assuming that doesn't mean superpowers. I don't know what that means. I didn't activate it. I just said, no worries, man. Let's continue with the trial. Once you do that, the program is going to load after we get a beach ball for a second. I guess we'll just hang out comfortably stare at each other. Okay, here we go. All right, now that we have the Pantone Color Manager up, you can see the formula guide says solid coded. This is the library I would like to update in Illustrator. And to do that, is all you have to do is you go to File, Export, and they nicely have Illustrator, InDesign, Photoshop, depending on which application you're using. We're using Illustrator, so I go Adobe Illustrator, Lab, and click the button. The activity says things have happened, which is great. All right, so we've done that step. Now let's go back to our document. And here's the first version. That was with the pre installed Adobe uh, Pantone colors that, that come with the program. 
And now what we're going to do, we're going to move this out of the way. And we're going to do the same thing, but now we're going to use the updated colors. And uh, the box is off. Nuts. All right. This would be version two. And now that we, oh, I forgot to say that um, once you've exported the color library information, you'll have to quit and restart Illustrator for the effect to take, uh, take place. Just a side note. Okay, so we're gonna do the same operation. We wanna to go to edit and edit colors. Once we have them selected, of course, we wanna recolor the artwork. And now we're going to the same magic box. We're gonna to go to color books. And now once you've exported the library, the updated version, you should see a new version where before we used the Pantone solid coded, that's the one native to Illustrator. Now we have V3, which I assume means virgin, version, virgin. <laughs> this is version three. And hopefully because the library has been updated, this will give us a more accurate color match because it has more colors to choose from. We're gonna hit okay. And it looks like that's a little better. So you can see here, our first version was pretty wildly off. And because we've updated our library, our second version actually isn't that bad. So it looks like the colors are a little bit closer. They're not perfect. And this is something you'll just simply have to contend with when you're dealing with Pantones and converting from CMYK. So um, that's the end of the tutorial. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Or if you found a better method, uh, drop it in the old comments. And uh, let's help everybody out. I think I've done this a thousand times, but I finally thought instead of looking for it every time because I would forget, I would just create a video. Uh, hopefully that's helped some of you, and um, thanks for watching. Have a good day.